Today we are applying the classic Windows 7 theming to Windows 11. Hey there, it's Tom, Tom's Tech Show. Um, if you're here and you're not subscribed, you see that little red button down there. If you could click that and subscribe, I'm on my way pushing to get my 2,000 uh, subscribers. Uh, that's you know another goal I had for this month. Hopefully I'll be able to make it by the end of the month. I would appreciate your help. Um, on that very much. Uh, so today we're going to be taking, we've got a Windows uh, 11 system here, um, and we're going to be, you know, I, I've been, you know, forever, once the Windows 7 Classic kind of theme was there, even when you, know, you had Vista and all that stuff, you want like the generic, very basic uh, Windows. I don't want, I don't need any transparencies. I don't need any shadows I don't need any of that I just need windows to be there and get out of my way and you know be able to let me do you know run my apps and and things like that so we're gonna come here first and we're gonna right click this PC click properties and that will bring up the system about uh, that we've got here and then we're gonna click uh, on advanced system settings so I think a lot of people have been through this. We go to the performance. If you're not, if it doesn't come up in advanced, there's hardware, advanced system protection and stuff. So we go to performance and we click settings. And right now it's for best performance. You got all these things checked. Drop shadow, smooth scroll, side scroll. I mean, the com back when, you know, computers were, uh, you know, very slow and, you know, it was kind of interesting to try and see these things, you know, Oh, it fades in. It's whatever, you know, it's like, I, I don't care. I just need it out of my way. So we're going to click the next button down here, adjust for best performance, which unchecks everything. And I'm going to hit apply. So you think things get a little bit duller, a little bit flatter, you know, which is fine. I'm more than fine with things being flat. Okay. So next we need to do some tweaking. So what we've got here, I've got this. So I have a Windows 7 box and I went into the folder that we're going to go to to grab the classic.theme file. Okay, but we need to go to, let's open another window here. File Explorer. And we're going to go to this PC. We're going to go to C, Drive, Windows, and then go down here to Resources, and then Ease of Access Themes. Now here in Ease of Access Themes, they've only got these four, but they've left off the Windows Classic theme. So we're going to take this, and I'm just going to take it and copy it. Copy. And then come down here and go paste. Now it's going to ask me, this is a system folder. It's going to say, are you sure you want to do this? I'm going to say continue. Say yes, I want to do this. Okay, so the thing is, right, so if I go here to settings, right, and then I move to uh, personalization, and then come down to themes, go and themes. I don't see like classic does not show up. So how do we get that classic theme to be able to apply? Okay, we need to do some magic. And what we need to do with that magic is we need to right click on our desktop, say new folder. Now this folder, we're going to give it a name. There's this weird personalization thing and a big GUID here. Uh, we're going to rename that with that GUID. And boom, suddenly this icon changes. It now says personalization. So that's, you know, what we want. Personalization, we're going to open that up. And this is kind of the classic, regular, old Windows personalization system that we've had. And it is there. So if we come down here, scroll down here under the high contrast, contrast themes is classic. We're going to click that. It's going to bounce around for a second and come back with very basic stuff. So my taskbar is all basic. My, you know, my, my windows bars and stuff are more basic. So this is getting me back to what I want utilitarian, very basic. I mean, things just end up being, you know, cleaner that way. So um, I'll make this personalization shortcut uh, code down in the uh, comments and I'll put the Windows, the classic theme will be uh, up in uh, my Bitbucket 
under like general scripts or something so that if you want to download that and use that if you don't have windows 7 available if you want to kind of do this to your system and really basic it up really get it you know clean and all that stuff all right so that'll be there for you uh thank you so much for watching all the way to the end and for subscribing to this my new my channel i have another channel for you know heavy hitting talking politics and news and stuff that's tom's talk show if you want to head over there uh and subscribe over there i appreciate that very much as well all right thanks for watching take care